Hey, it's Mike over at FishYourAssOff.com and today what we're talking about is the colors that bass can see well as it relates to lures. You know, when you're out there at Bass Pro Shops or one of these places, there's just a million different colors and whoever your favorite Bass Pro is, well, he's got to sell you some lures. You know, they get sponsored. They make a lot of money selling lures, so they'll be like, Oh, here's the um, purple, neon, chartreuse, hellfire, double stitched red worm. <laughs> yeah, and this is the one that I'm catching all these fish with, you know, and they'll make sure they get some video of them catching a big bass with that color. But I guarantee there's two, maybe three colors or variations of colors that every one of those guys is going to have when it comes down to making money and winning a tournament or something like that. There's going to be two or three colors or slight variations of that color that they're going to use, period, end of sentence. It's as simple as that. And there's a reason for that. I'm going to cover the science on what the bass can actually see when you're pitching out your worm, lizard, crawfish, whatever, frog, whatever you're fishing with. Because really it's going to be about contrast and that's what I'm going to teach you. Okay, so I didn't have all the colors of the rainbow, but we all know the colors of the rainbow. We learned it in school, right? So you have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Those are the visible light spectrum for humans. That's what we can see. Well, bass can only see from red to green and then shades. So all they see when it's blue, indigo, violet, it's just darkness like uh, you know you pitch a black one out there and you have a super dark blue one yeah, it's basically the same to a bat or a super dark opaque purple uh, June bug all these different things they're all basically the same they're just a really dark lure and that's what the bass sees is some dark thing in contrast with its background that's really what they're seeing red orange yellow green Two sets of cones, that's what they can see. We have three sets of cones in our eyes. That's why we can see the blue, indigo, and violet part of the spectrum too. That's, there's a difference there. And what we're gonna cover is what the bass actually sees. So as the visible light spectrum, as those rays, those light rays, those photons are heading into the water, well, they dissipate. There's, there's refractory issues, all kinds of things. They just can't penetrate down certain depths. If you ever wondered why so many of those deep sea fishermen have red fishing line, it's because red is the first color to disappear in the water column. Red disappears first, and orange and yellow. It just turns into varying shades of gray. So this will be just grays once you get down to a certain point you got to understand that so you have this bright red uh let's say you're fishing with a uh, crayfish um i don't know just just let's say say you got a crankbait real bright red crankbait because you want to target uh these bass that are feeding on crawdads well after seven eight feet that's a gray lure coming at that fish it's not red anymore to them it's just a shade of gray you just got to understand that so it's more about movement and just getting them to react to that bait is my point. So that's what I want to talk about with these colors. So blue, purple, black, brown, they're just shades of dark to a bass. So you have to have a contrast. Like here's a black, here's a white uh, whiteboard. Well, there's a lot of contrast here with this dark colored product that I have. Well, there's a lot less contrast with this one right here. This is watermelon. It's, it's more translucent. And right here is a green pumpkin. And it's uh, more opaque. So there's more contrast. So it's really about contrast with the backdrop that you're keying on when you're trying to target these fish. I guess is my point. Well, it's not even that. It's getting their attention with the contrast and then moving the bait right. Because let's face it, there's three reasons why bass are going to hit something. It's a reaction strike. Ah, better hit that. Or they're guarding a territory. You know, once they get big enough, four or five pounds, they're going to have an area that they protect because now they're big enough to shoo off the other fish 
whatever they're coming in that area. So it's a reaction bite, it's protecting the territory, and thirdly, it's going to be for food because they're actually hungry. So most of the time when you catch a bass, it's protecting a territory or it's a reaction bite. They're not hungry. It's, it's the other two. So it's really about getting in there and kind of irritating the fish to make them want to hit that thing, uh, whatever you put there. So it's the movement, but they have to see it obviously first to perceive it. So let's get back to colors before I get off track here. All right, so us humans, we can see the whole entire rainbow. We have three sets, right? We have the three sets of cones. So it's all about the contrast and water depth on what you're fishing. So I'm gonna just show you these different colors here up close and hopefully you'll be able to see it. It's kind of a rainy, nasty day. Um, that's why I'm not out on the water anyways. January day, blown out, windy. That one right there is green pumpkin, very opaque. It's, a, it's kind of a darker green. This one right here is watermelon, well, watermelon seed. It's more translucent. And this one right here, I don't really know. I, it looks like a June bug. I didn't look at the package because I don't really care as long as it's dark. But uh, very, very dark, very dark. I remember the old timers, you know, when I was first watching some of those bass fishing shows when I was a kid, they'd be like, oh yeah, I'll fish with any color as long as it's black. <laughs> because the dark ones catch more fish almost in every scenario. And that's what I'm going to explain to you now. So if the water is super clear, like you're fishing in a spring fed something or other, just super, super clear, the translucent, translucent type baits seem to work best. All these colors. So th this, this one right here, again, is your watermelon seed. Very translucent. As the water starts to get more stained, that's when you want to bust out your darker greens, right? Just like this one. And then you want to go with your dark. So when you're, when you're seeing on these shows that on TV, remember, they're just trying to sell you colors. You could probably get away with your green pumpkin, which is the more opaque of the greens, and your uh, dark whatever. This could be black, blue, purple, um, you know, June bug, all these different mixes of colors, but just dark because you just have to remember, they can't tell anyways. So when you pitch out a chartreuse and white spinnerbait, it's just one's white and one's a little whiter to the bass. They, they don't, they're not really gonna be able to pick out these different shades too well, unless it's in super, super shallow water, shallow, clear water, and then they'll be able to distinguish. Because remember, they can distinguish this part of the spectrum, but once you get down, seven, eight feet or whatever, you're really fishing with gray lures <laughs> for the most part. Just remember that as you get down deep in the water, and that's clean water. If the water, if the water is dirtier, well, they're going to be able to see less and less and less. It is all about contrast. So when you're picking these different, uh, different baits that you're going to want to use, you could get away with two. I guarantee you one thing. Every single one of those bass pro fishermen guys has something dark. I don't care if it's black, blue, purple, June bug, whatever it is. Every one of them, without exception, and green pumpkin. Guaranteed. Because those two colors produce more than all the other colors combined. <laughs> so those are the ones they're going to use. That's all you need to bring too. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. If you have those two colors, you're going to catch a ton of bass. When I grew up as a kid, I was a bass fishing machine. I had all these ponds and lakes where I lived. I had a purple one, you know, just because I liked purple. I was a little kid, I liked purple. So I'd always buy purple worms. And I have hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of bass, caught on just a little purple worm. It just does, it, the dark ones are the way to go, you know, as far as that goes. You can just go away with two colors. Okay, I think I got off tangent here a few times with everything, but just understand how the bass sees the world. It's all about contrast, you know, when you're fishing for these bass. You can get away with two colors, something dark, green pumpkin, 
which is basically a darkish opaque green, you're good to go. If where you live is, and where you fish is super, super, super clean, clear water, some spring fed something or other, or snow melt type of thing, well, then you wanna go with something that's more translucent. Something translucent like the watermelon. I hope you learned something. I hope that helped, you know, throwing some science in there with the, hey, just use this lure type of uh, thing you normally get. So I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something and I hope you catch a hell of a lot more fish because of this video. You can learn more of this on our website. Just go to fishyourassoff.com and we have all kinds of information about catching bass and saltwater fish too. Till next time, we'll see you then. All right, bye-bye.